So his name, let's start with his name. So I will be sharing a little bit in Arabic and then inshallah we'll be explaining it also in English. So who al Imam Al Nu'man, that's his name. Nu'man Al Nu'man Ibn Thabit Ibn Zuti Ibn Mirzaban. That's his name. Al Nu'man Ibn Thabit Ibn Zuti Ibn Mirzaban. Okay, Min Mawali Bani Tamim. So his name is Al Nu'man, his father is Thabit, his grandfather is Zuti, that's his grandfather's name and some say and his grand grandfather's name is Mirzaban some say Zuti himself is Mirzaban he himself is Mirzaban is just a title for him as well so his grandfather embraced Islam in Kabul then he moved to Al Kufa he moved to Al Kufa and he settled in Al Kufa in Iraq Kufa today is a bit to the north of uh, Basra, of Al Basra, in the south of Iraq. Uh, his father Thabit, the father of Imam Abu Hanifa, uh, was a businessman. So, Kana Thabit Waliduhu Khazazan. Khazaz in Arabic, Yabi'u al Khaz. Al Khazaz is someone who sells clothes who sells clothes, al Khazaz. So his father used to be a merchant. He would sell clothes. So Imam Abu Hanifa inherited the same profession or the same uh, line of business from his father. And he actually had a big inheritance from his father. So his father left for him, behind him, 200,000 dirham. That was the inheritance share of Abu Hanifa. 200 thousand dirham roughly speaking roughly speaking three dirham three dirham is equal to around hundred and fifty dollars so one dirham is about fifty dollars one dirham is about fifty dollars so his father left him two hundred thousand dirham how much would that be in Canadian a million or more two hundred two hundred thousand Times, oh yeah, okay, a million. So he inherited a million. So Abu Hanifa was a rich man. It was a lot more, it was worth a lot more, yes. Yeah, it's actually, it was worth a lot more. So Abu Hanifa, rahimahullah, was a very rich man.